happy new year guys from me to you i wanted to say a massive thank you for the last six months you guys have really helped me grow the channel you guys have been amazing and i really appreciate all of the support so i'm wishing you guys a very very happy new year i hope 2023 is you know magical and it brings you all of your little desires and today we're going to be doing a really cool tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use the physics to actually create a bowling alley with some realistic bowling motion and you know the physics behind kind of how you'd create a ball rolling down an alley and then knocking down some bowling pins so it is really simple to do guys and there's some really cool quick tricks that you can use in iClone 8 to achieve that I'm going to show you exactly how to do that but first I just want to let you guys know that my course is coming very soon on www iClone3D.com. It should be ready by the end of the month. I'm going to let you guys know with a massive announcement once it is. And with that said, let's crack on with the latest tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to firstly come over here and we're going to create a primitive shape and we're going to create a box. And then we're going to hit R and we're just going to flatten this all the way down. This will basically serve as our bowling alley base and we're just going to drag it out and make that a bit longer. And we can afford to make that a little bit wider too. And that looks pretty cool. So this is going to serve as our base, as the bowling alley base. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to create another primitive shape. And we're going to create another box. And we're just going to move this to the edge of each side. So we're just going to hold down control and we're going to duplicate that. And what these are going to be is these are going to be kind of like the bounding corners of the bowling alley. So we're just going to hit R and we're going to scale that down a little bit and we're just going to drag it in a bit so we may have to realign it and we're just going to realign that there so what we're doing is we're just yeah creating the bowling alley basically and then we're going to add the physics and get the balls rolling down them and it's going to look really really cool so instead of doing that again we can just duplicate this one now so we'll delete this box here and we can just duplicate this by hitting W and holding control and dragging along to your desired point. And we're just going to smoothen it up and get that a little bit closer to the edge. And now you can see we've got this cool little kind of bowling alley. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to go into our props here and we're going to look for a pyramid shape. So this one here, we're just going to drag and drop this on. And this is going to basically serve as our kind of ramp that the ball's going to roll down. So we're just going to position it into the right place and we'll just hit E and rotate that and we'll just get that in a nice straight line. Now the ball effectively is going to roll off of this and down our bowling alley. And what we're going to do is we're going to place a couple of bowling pins right here. So I'm just going to go into my custom tab and I should have some bowling pins saved in my prop section here. I'm just going to drag and drop that in place and then tweak it as best we can so we've got that in perfect position now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn on the physics for all of these objects for in order to create the bowling motion we do need the physics turned on so firstly we're going to create a physics plane just by going up here create and then we're going to create physics and an infinite plane so now you can see we've got an infinite physics plane created and what we're going to do next is we're going to create some physics for the bowling pin we're going to activate the physics and we're going to leave it as a dynamic because we do want it to react with any other physic object that collides with it. So we'll leave it as dynamic. And then what we're going to do is set the floor and we're going to activate the physics for the floor. And we're going to leave that as a kinematic so it just stays in place. And lastly, we're going to activate the physics for our pyramid here. And we're just going to hit activate and we're going to leave that also as a kinematic object. And then what we're going to do is we're very quickly going to create a sphere. This is going to serve as our bowling ball. So we'll just create that sphere, get that in place there. And we're just going to scale that down by hitting R on the control pad and then scaling that down. So it looks a bit more in proportion. And now we can see we've got our bowling ball and that will fall from this height and land on this and begin to roll. So we'll just get it a bit more over and I'm just going to raise that to about there so now what we're going to do is we're going to activate the physics for the ball by clicking on the physics and pressing activate uh, we're going to leave it as dynamic and the settings look absolutely fine so all we need to do now is hit play 
and our ball should begin rolling down that slope. Okay, so we can see it's actually stopped in the air. Now, the reason for this, guys, and very important step, I'm just gonna delete this and uh, we're gonna go back to the beginning. Uh, if we click on our pyramid, we can see the red outlines are kind of like a rectangle shape. So what we effectively need to do is we need to change the bounding mesh of our pyramid. So we go into bounding and we'll click the drop down menu. So you can see it's on box currently. What we want to do is we want to change that to a self mesh and then now you can see that rectangle shape has gone and we've got a self mesh around our pyramid. So we're going to do the same thing for the sphere. We're going to change the bounding mesh to a sphere and you'll see that will now create a bounding mesh around the object. We'll do the same thing for the bowling ball because as you can see again it is the box bounding mesh that is set to it so we're going to change that to a self mesh. And we're also going to copy a few of these and duplicate them by holding control and dragging out. And we'll do that another time there. And now we've got three bowling pins and all the physics are set. Now what you'll see is when we hit play, that ball should roll down the slope perfectly. Perfect. Okay, so there you have it guys. Now you can see, now we've recorded the motion, we can come back up here and we can just use this little button here, the rigid body simulation and turn that off. And that means when we play it back, we won't record any other motion onto the kind of project here. So I'm gonna play that back one more time. And you can see that's how we can create a very simple bowling effect. Really hope that tutorial helps and really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.